Welcome to Chuck Builds. Today we're going to be installing the Home Assistant Community Store, which allows you to install custom integrations and we'll be using adaptive lighting as our example. Follow along to learn more. The Home Assistant Community Store is a very powerful third-party integration that we're going to install here today, but it is for advanced users. So before we get started, the very first thing we're going to do is go to Settings, System, Backups, and then we're going to create a backup. And I'm just going to give it today's date and create. Once your backup is complete, we're going to need to download an add-on for SSH. So we will go to Settings, Add-ons, and the Add-on Store. And then I'm just going to type search for SSH. And I'm going to use the Advanced SSH and Web Terminal just because I've used it before. And then we click Install. Once it's been installed, we will check our configuration to see if we need to set anything. And I believe we'll have to set a password, but let's double check by clicking start. We'll check our logs and we'll see that it did stop and that we, the add-on is incomplete and we have to set an SSH password. Um, choose something unique for you because I'm sharing this on the screen. I'm going to use the word password, which is insecure and then click save right here and restart. We'll check the logs again and see that it is started and it started successfully. So we will come and open the web UI and we are currently seeing the Home Assistant command line as if we were on the computer screen looking at the computer physically. I've disconnected it from a screen so that's why I have to use SSH here and it's just easier that way. Um, so what we're going to do next is download a script to install Hex or the Home Assistant Community Store. I will have the link in the description and I'm just getting this from the hacks.xyz website. And so I'm going to paste and press enter and it finished. Before we can actually download the integration, we need to go to our browser and clear our cache. So I'm just gonna click clear. And I'm just gonna clear all now. Come back to Home Assistant and refresh, and we will be logging in. I'm just going to log in with keep me logged in. And now that we are back inside Home Assistant, we'll go to Settings, Devices and Services, and then Add Integration. And we're going to add an integration for Hex. If it doesn't show up, make sure you clear your cache. You, you actually have to do that. And then we're going to get this warning. And so this is making sure that we are an advanced user. Please be careful with what you install using Hex. That's why we made a backup. So if anything goes wrong, we can restore from that but we are confirming that we know how to access the logs. We know that there's no add-ons inside of Hex. We know that everything is custom and not officially sanctioned by Home Assistant. And that if I have any issues, I can disable the custom components YAML. So we will get this code and we need to log into GitHub. And so we will paste the code that we got from Home Assistant into GitHub to pair it to our account and authorize. And we can close that and I'll ask for an area. We don't really need to worry about that. So I'll click finish. So just like that, we have the Home Assistant Community Store installed. We've got a little sidebar here and we can see custom themes on the front end that we can download or integrations here. So the integration I am choosing to install first and I would highly recommend it for you if you have color changing bulbs, specifically the temperature changing bulbs. I like to use the Hue Ambiance bulbs. They're perfect for this. It's called adaptive lighting and it synchronizes your lighting with the sun based on your location. This is very much like Flux for your PC or Night Shift for your iPhone. I love this feature where it changes the brightness and color of your lights throughout the day. So at night, it'll be dimmer with a more warm color for less strain on your eyes and less blue light. I find it really helps me sleep better and wind down for the night, but during the day, it's bright 
white, clear light. To actually install a custom integration through the Home Assistant Community Store, you will sometimes need to add a custom repository, and you would find that link up here in the top right hand corner or a button to click in the description that would actually allow you to open up the window and automatically add it. This one is already in the Home Assistant Community Store, so we will not need to add the repository, but if you needed to, you would go to Hex, integrations, and then in the top right hand corner, you'd click custom repository and then just paste it right here. For us right now, inside of Hacks integrations, we will just go to explore and download, and then we will type in adaptive to get adaptive lighting. And then right here in the bottom right hand corner, click download and download again. And once it's done downloading, if we go back to Hacks, you'll see we have a warning to restart Home Assistant to load the custom component. It is super easy to do. We will go to settings, system, and then the power button, and then restart Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant has restarted, you'll go to settings, devices and services, and then add integration. And we'll just click on adaptive lighting, or if it's not showing, you can search for it. And we're gonna give it a name for this specific instance of adaptive lighting. You can have multiple for different rooms in your house if you want them to function differently. Um, this is really great if you have different brands of bulbs or if you have somewhere that you don't want to be as dark as somewhere else. Like I don't want my dining room to get as dark as I want my bedroom with this color change. So I have two separate instances for those different rooms. For this though, um, I only have one bulb for this video. So I'm just going to call it uh, Chuck Builds. And you can see that that now shows up as a configured integration inside of Home Assistant. And if we click on that, we've got four entities, and that is the brightness, the color, whether it's in sleep mode, and whether adaptive lighting is turned on or not. So I've got my smart bulb right here, and so we'll go to configure this integration, and it's going to ask us for which light we want to use. I'm going to use the white ambiance that I've got plugged in right here. Every 90 seconds is the interval to check the light if it's in the right setting and color, and then update it. So this is a pretty frequent update throughout the day that you don't really notice it changing only when it turns on or turns off. The transition is how long it takes to make that change. 45 seconds will be fine. The default settings across here are usually pretty good. I will change my minimum brightness from two to probably 10%, uh, just because I still want to be able to see this isn't sleep mode. I don't want it to be quite that dim. Minimum color and maximum color would be at the darkest or brightest, what color you want it to show. And if you're not on a color temperature light, but RGB, you can uh, prefer that here with this checkbox. Sleep brightness, I'm gonna bump that up from one to 5%, just as I still wanna be able to see. This at 1% is very, very low. And some bulbs don't like going that low. Um, a Govi strip, I've heard it will not like that either. Sleep color temp is how warm you want the color to be and how many seconds to take for that to happen when sleep mode is toggled on. You got a couple of other settings here to adjust the sunrise time and override how long it takes or offset to make it specific to your location. I leave those on defaults and the rest of this looks good. So I'm just gonna click submit and finish. And the bulb just changed for the bright white of the day. This would be pretty strong if it was at night, but in the daytime, it looks, it looks pretty normal. So at this point, we have added the Home Assistant Community Store. We've installed a custom integration called Adaptive Lighting, and we've gotten at least one bulb set up and working to change color dynamically throughout the day based on your location. I hope that this has been a useful video for you. This is a great feature that has made my smart home feel that much smarter and brought a nice quality of life improvement from my screens into my life by controlling my lights, much like my screens dim throughout the day. I hope this video has been useful for you to install the Home Assistant Community Store, and I hope that you will use the adaptive lighting integration as well. That's been a small thing that's made my smart home feel so smart, especially with color changing lights. If you have them, put them to use, and this is a great way to do it without thinking about it. If you have any issues or you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me on social media or check out the new website. Thanks for watching.